Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today you will get a list of programs you need to download to start your Revit API journey. And before getting started, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave some comment and turn on notifications. This is actually the video for my complete course about Revit API. So if you want to enroll and become the Revit API guru, I will leave my email in the pinned comment so you can reach out to me. So let's get started. What are the required programs for taking the course? So the first one is Visual Studio. So that is an integrated development environment from Microsoft. So that is basically where you will write all your code. The next one is Revit Lookup. That is the Revit add-in that helps analyze elements. So basically with this plugin, you can select Revit elements, for example, a wall and read some information about it, like some properties, what methods it has, and a lot of useful information. The next one is the add-in manager. And that is the add-in for Revit to quickly update your DLL files to check if everything works. So basically that helps you update your code and check if it works on the fly. So you don't have the need to uh, reboot Revit and do all these kind of operations. So that helps you quickly check if everything works. So let's go to the installation processes. So for the Visual Studio, it's pretty straightforward. You go to, the, to Google, type Visual Studio, and I'm pretty sure that'll be the first link that you need to go with. So as you can see, the link, the link is just in front of you. So basically then uh, you'll, be, you'll be moved to that side. And what you need to do is that you need to download the community version 2022. Of course, you can go with lower versions. It's up to you. Uh, also make sure that when you will be prompt with this kind of pop-up window, make sure to tick on the .NET desktop development. So the next one is the Revit lookup installation. So again, the process is pretty much straightforward. You type Revit lookup download, make sure to go with the link of the GitHub of Jeremy Tamek. So you find that GitHub. And then what you need to do is that you need to click on releases. Uh, as I can see, I put this in the red rectangle. And then you simply go with the uh, with the MSI, fi MSI file. So you'll have a lot of releases down there uh, and you need to go with the MSI extension and you just execute it. You just run it and the plugin, the add-in will be downloaded on your machine. The next one is add-in manager. The process is pretty much the same as for the Revit lookup. So you Google this, Revit add-in manager download. Uh, in this case, it may not be the first link. Uh, so you need to find the link with the uh, GitHub, right? So Revit add-in manager GitHub. And then again, you go to the releases and uh, you pick up the file with the MSI extension and you simply run it and that will download uh, this plugin on your machine. And once you download two of these plugins, uh, you will be prompted with this message when you boot up Revit, when you start up Revit. In this case, uh, you can click on always load because these are the plugins that you will be using all the time. That's it for this lesson. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments and turn on notifications and have a nice day.